Good morning from Mission Control Houston in the International Space Station Flight Control Room where we are bringing you live coverage of the rendezvous and docking of the unpiloted Progress 86 cargo spacecraft. You are currently seeing views of Progress's crosshair camera as it closes in on today's docking window to the International Space Station following a two-day 34 orbit journey. Docking is currently scheduled for about 45 minutes from now at 5.14 a.m. Central, 6.14 a.m. Eastern to the Poisk module. The spacecraft is currently about 6 kilometers away from the space station and closing in at a rate of 8.9 meters per second. The Orbit-1 flight control team is currently on console for this morning's operations and are being led by Flight Director Rick LeBrode as he is joined on console by Flight Director Heidi Brewer. The team here in Houston is working in tandem with the Russian mission control team in Koryov just outside of Moscow for today's progress docking operations. The teams will be conducting a go-no-go -go poll for docking in just about three minutes. Progress 86 is carrying 2.7 tons of food, fuel, and supplies to the Expedition 70 crew aboard the International Space Station and will remain docked to the orbiting laboratory for about six months. To make way for the Progress 86 vehicle, the Progress 84 spacecraft that docked to the space station's Poisk module earlier this year departed the station on Wednesday, November 29th, burning up harmlessly in the Earth's atmosphere over the South Pacific Ocean. The seven-member multinational crew comprising Expedition 70 includes NASA astronauts Jasmine Mabelli and Laurel O'Hara, European Space Agency astronaut Andreas Mogensen, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, and Roscosmos cosmonauts Konstantin Borisov, Oleg Koninenko, and Nikolai Chub. Koninenko and Chub are on deck to monitor today's docking of progress from inside the space station's Reporting mode. Uh, please go ahead on uh, Space Ground 1. Uh, yes, Nikolai, you can turn on the recording. Uh, copy that, turning on recording. Copy, thank you. Conan Inko and Chub are on deck to monitor today's docking of progress from inside the space station's Stedza service module. They will be monitoring the operations from the TORU, or the telerobotically operated rendezvous unit, which is basically a joystick, and in the unlikely event of a failure with the automated radar-based CUR system, they can override it and manually fly progress in for docking. The vehicle continues to close in on uh, the distance to space station and is about 4.9 kilometers away. The Progress 86 cargo spacecraft was launched atop a Soyuz 2.1A booster rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on Friday, December 1st at 3.25 a.m. Central, 4.25 a.m. Eastern, which is 2.25 p.m. in Baikonur for an 8-minute, 45-second flight to orbit. All three stages operated as expected, and Progress is now wrapping up its two-day 34-orbit chase to the orbiting laboratory, where it is scheduled to dock to the Poisk module in just about 41 minutes at 5.14 a.m. Central, 6.14 a.m. Eastern. Everything continues to proceed as expected, and the spacecraft is now about four, meters, four kilometers from the station. The teams are currently conducting a go-no-go -go poll for docking.
the team here in Houston just pulled go for docking. The International Space Station Flight Control Team here in Houston is currently working in tandem with the Russian Mission Control Team in Koryov for today's operations. Between now and the time of docking, there will be a series of impulse burns from the engine on the Progress vehicle. These are basically very short bursts to further fine tune the spacecraft's path to the station. The next impulse burn is scheduled for about three minutes from now, and there were previously three impulse burns before today's uh, broadcast began. Following these impulse burns, Progress will get within range of Space Station and conduct a fly around. The fly around will be at a degree of 127 degrees around the Space Station, and following the fly around, the spacecraft will self-align with the docking port on the Poisk module. Once aligned, the vehicle will briefly go into station keeping to allow flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow to analyze the alignment between the forward docking probe on progress and the docking port on the space station's Poisk module. Once the proper alignment is confirmed, they will reinitiate the docking sequence. Progress uses an automated radar-based system called CORS to dock to the station. The active portion of is on progress and the passive equipment is on the station. It's basically sending the basically the active portion on progress sends a radio beacon signal to the passive portion on station that updates information on range and rate of closure. Koninenko and Tube of Roscosmos are in the Zvezda service module at the Toru, which is a telerobotically operated rendezvous unit, which is basically a joystick, and in the unlikely event of a failure with the core system, they can override it and manually fly progress in for docking with the camera view from progress. Following initial contact and capture, currently scheduled for 5.14 a.m. Central, 6.14 a.m. Eastern, there will be a period of just a couple of minutes to allow the relative motion between Progress and the International Space Station to dampen out on the docking interface between the two. Once that occurs, the forward docking probe on Progress will begin to retract, hooks will close, and then we will have a hard mate between Progress and Station. There will then be a period of standard leak checks to ensure that we have an airtight seal between Progress and Station before the crew opens hatches about three hours later to begin un unloading cargo from the vehicle. The spacecraft will remain docked to the orbiting laboratory for approximately six months, and then it'll undock for a destruct destructive but safe reentry into the Earth's atmosphere to dispose of trash loaded by the crew. Progress continues to close in on station and is about two kilometers away, closing in at a rate of 4.3 meters per second. We just got confirmation that the Impulse 4 burn uh, performed as expected, and this was a burn to further fine-tune the spacecraft's path to the station. We've just uh, performed the final maneuver, and uh, you are go to activate Toro. Uh, copy that. We will be activating Toro. And you just heard some conversation between flight controllers on the ground and the cosmonauts on a board station. Copy. Excellent. After that, uh, please proceed with page 21, step 4, decimal 2. Copy that. In work. They are currently activating and testing the TORU system. Just remind, uh, reminding you that we are broadcasting. Copy.
and please report what you're doing. All right, so I put the press the um, transmit button. You are currently seeing live views of the Progress 86 spacecraft from the space station cameras as it continues to close in on station where it'll be docking in just about 34 minutes from now to the Poisk module. Uh, till hard stop. Uh, the road test, I see all four LEDs on, and uh, I've tested the rotational control button, no problems, and I'm testing the translation control button, turning it left and run, handle and turn it left and right to myself, against myself, and uh, there are no problems with it. And I'm also testing, doing the next test. Uh, the test has been performed and no problems identified. Excellent. Please proceed with step four, decimal three. Copy. Step four, decimal three. So I'm uh, turning on the BPS is is initial, then uh, operation, turning it on, and turning on the Pirisvetka, which is EGC mode. Uh, Moscow Station. So, please um, adjust it to the most comfortable view to yourself, and then you can leave it as is. I am leaving it as is, and I'm turning it off. Thank you. Copy that. And I've uh, recorded the information. I'm going to page 22. Um, the range is uh, 961 and the rate is 2.71. Copy that, thank you, excellent. So let us wait for the beginning of fly around at around 10.49, copy that, 10.49. Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub of Roscosmos, currently aboard the International Space Station, just conducted a successful test of the TORU system, which is the telerobotically operated rendezvous unit from which they are monitoring today's docking operations. The TORU is basically a joystick, in the, and in the unlikely event of a failure with the automated radar-based core system, they can override it and manually fly progress in for docking using the camera view from progress. The Impulse 5 burn for progress uh, was just successfully completed, and this is another short burst to further fine-tune the spacecraft's path to station. There are six total impulse burns, so we have one remaining. Progress is now less than a thousand meters away from the station and closing in at a rate of two and a half meters per second. It's about four minutes away from conducting its 127 degree fly around, which will help the spacecraft self align with the docking port on the Poisk module. And we have confirmation that the sixth and final impulse burn was just completed. 
to further fine tune Progress's path to the space station for today's docking, which is scheduled to occur in just under 30 minutes from now. In just under three minutes, the fly around of progress is scheduled. During this fly around, the progress spacecraft will self align with the docking port on the Poisk module of the International Space Station and conduct a 127 degree fly around. Once aligned, the progress vehicle will briefly go into station keeping. This will allow flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow to analyze the alignment between the forward docking probe on progress and the docking port on the space station's Poisk module. Progress is closing in on state space station for today's docking and is just under 450 meters away, closing in at a rate of one and a half meters per second. The fly around is scheduled for about a minute and a half from now and docking continues to be on time for 28 minutes from now. Um, Moscow Station, do you see the fly around? Yes, copy that. We are seeing the beginning of fly around. Everything is great. The progress vehicle has begun its fly around of station. Again, this is a 127 degree fly around that will allow the spacecraft to self align with the docking port on the po Poisk module for today's docking operations. Once aligned, the progress vehicle will briefly go into sp station keeping. This will allow the flight control flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control in Koryov just outside of Moscow to analyze the alignment between the forward docking probe on the Progress 86 vehicle and the docking port on the space station's Poisk module. Once the proper alignment is confirmed, they'll reinitiate the docking sequence. You are currently seeing live views of the Progress spacecraft from the International Space Station's cameras as the International Space Station is currently flying over Algeria.
the Progress 86 spacecraft is now less than 250 meters away from the space station and about 24 minutes away from a scheduled docking of 5.14 a.m. Central, 6.14 a.m. Eastern as it continues to conduct its 127 degree fly around to self-align with the docking port on the Poisk module. We are currently going through a brief but expected loss of signal, and you are currently seeing live views from the balcony at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov, Russia, just outside of Moscow, where flight controllers are currently working in tandem with the team here in Houston for today's Progress 86 docking operations. You are seeing live views from the crosshair camera on the Progress vehicle as it closes in on the International Space Station for today's docking. It is about 200 meters away from the space station as it continues to conduct its fly around to self-align with the docking port on the Poisk module. Uh, Moscow, I am not receiving the picture. Well, actually, if uh, necessary, please uh, press operation again, Rabota, and uh, work on the AGC mode. I turned off the AGC mode. Uh, it's all dark, but it's a little better. All right, so leave it as uh, most comfortable to you. Will do. The important thing is to turn the работа, the operation, back on.
the Progress 86 vehicle. All right, I'll leave it as is. Uh, because uh, I can see on the Mac, I see the really good image. Yeah, we received the picture and uh, our, the quality looks satisfactory to us. Um, on the symbol, I see the AGC mode and uh, uh, there is the picture on Mac is really good. The Progress 86 vehicle is more than halfway through its scheduled fly around to self-align with the docking port on the Poisk module. And you just heard some conversation between uh, cosmonauts Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub aboard the space station who are monitoring today's docking from the TORU, which is a tele-robotically operated rendezvous unit, basically a joystick, joystick system that they can use in the unlikely event of a failure with the automated radar-based core system on progress to manually, manually fly the spacecraft in for docking. Yes, we are seeing the Prichal uh, fly around. So the solar arrays, and now you can see it going right inside. Yes, we can see the picture. We can see that uh, it is kind of uh, off a little bit, off the center, and I don't see solar rays anymore. You are go to switch to Toro. Copy, send an operation. Send an... Breakout. Go. We confirm. Activate manual control. Switch into manual control. And we just heard some conversation between flight, con flight controllers on the ground and the cosmonauts aboard the International Space Station, Oleg, Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub, who are in the Zvezda service module monitoring today's docking. We heard confirmation that they will be taking over docking using the TORU system, which is a telerobotically operated rendezvous unit in place of the radar-based core system on progress. Back to the docking port if necessary, back to fly around. We say that you did a little bit more okay. Dampen angle rate. Copy. Again, point two, point three. For closing, go back to the angle of the docking port. I have point three. Copy, excellent. Range one seventy meters. The Progress vehicle is now just about 170 meters away from the space station. Uh, course data is uh, valid for range rate and uh, range copy. Reminder. Uh, our visual uh, assessment is our priority. Range 150, range rate 0.22 and closing. Copy, we observe it.
Maneuver is done. Point four is the range rate. Copy. One hundred and fifty kilometers range. Proceed to 30 meters, then we'll be mowed into the current position and we'll be standing by for your report. Copy. Okay, uh, it's 120 and uh, 0.5 and close and copy. One hundred and eighty meters, point four in closing. Copy. A crew, a reminder. Okay, uh, you need to take a uh, range rate and rate on the right side relative to course. Copy. Uh, range one seventy. Point seven eight and closing. Copy. During the fly around of the progress vehicle, progress started drifting away from the expected attitude and was not aligned with the docking target. The crew aboard the International Space Station has taken over manual control and recovered the expected attitude. Docking today will now be performed using the Toru system. Copy. Which is the telerobotically operated rendezvous unit from inside the Zvezda service module. Oleg Konyenko and Nikolai Chub of Roscosmos are currently okay. operating the Toru unit. The recommendation, damp the rate, uh, do not hold less than, more than 0 0.02. Copy and work. Station on two for T2. Uh, range 45. Okay. The progress vehicle is currently about 45 meters away from the station. It is going to go to about 30 meters and then pause for station keeping before final approach. Range 40. Rate zero point zero zero four copy. Approach in a thirty meter point. Rate is zero two copy. The progress vehicle is now at about the thirty meter point away from the International Space Station. It'll pause here briefly for station keeping. During this period of station. Range 30 meters, station keeping. 
After that, send a command of a Kazakh, close. You are going to do it. Okay. Station keeping confirm. Send the command. 30 meters, straight zero. We just heard confirmation that the vehicle is in station keeping. This period of time will allow flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov, just outside of... Uh, the window for mode into never hold will be... Put, uh, will start in unintelligible copy and work. In this period of station keeping will allow the flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center just outside of Moscow to analyze the alignment between the forward docking probe on progress and the docking port on the space station's Poisk module. Once proper alignment is confirmed, we will continue through final approach and docking. No visual of target. 30 meters, right zero. We do not have a visual of the target as well. Continue monitoring station keeping. The progress vehicle continues to be in a period of station keeping at a uh, holding at a distance of 30 meters away from the space station's docking port. To recap, during a fly around a few minutes ago, the progress vehicle started drifting away from the expected attitude and was not aligned with the docking target. Because of this, the crew on board station took manu manual control of the vehicle to recover the expected attitude, and docking will now be performed. Kind of jumped up to 24. What about the vi uh, your visual? Can you assess if it matches? Okay, about, again, uh, please adjust the GC mode. Try to uh, make it as comfortable for you as possible. Okay, the ruler shows 28. Dock and docking will now be performed using the TORU system, which is the tele-robotically operated rendezvous unit. The ruler shows 26 meters. Copy. Okay, uh, I have visual of the target, beginning alignment. Copy, yes, we see the image. We can see the crosshairs on the target. And we can see the cross stand.
Roscosmos cosmonauts Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub, currently aboard the International Space Station, are working to align the Progress vehicle with the docking port during this period of station keeping. They are working from the Toru. Rover shows 23. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, the uh, mode into TP is confirmed. You are going to proceed from the range of 3 meters. Copy and work. Point seven and closing. Okay. We just heard confirmation that the crew is going to continue to proceed through final approach and pause at three meters. Excellent. Range per the ruler is 27 meters. Clo keep closing. Copy. Point two and closing. Range 12, range 11 and closing. Excellent. The progress vehicle is currently at a range of 11 meters from the space station and closing in. Once it gets to three meters, it will pause again briefly. Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub of Roscosmos are currently operating today's docking um, using the Toru system inside the space station, which is basically a joystick that they can use to manually fly progress and for docking with a camera view from progress. Yes, we copy. Range five, rate point four. No. Copy. The vehicle is now less than five meters away from the space station.
Range 3, station keeping. Cargo, stand in by for report on station keeping confirmed. Keep keeping confirmed. Cross here, the line ready for docking. Copy your readiness, you have a go. Copy and work. The progress vehicle is now less than three meters away and going to press in for docking. Point eight. No. Copy. We are standing by for contact and capture of the Progress 86 spacecraft to the International Space Station. Contact. Standing by for contact. No visual of the target. Con uh, contact confirmed. Capture confirmed. And we have confirmation of contact and capture. Construction process and will be standing by for the closeout ops. Copy. Stocking of the unpiloted Progress 86 cargo spacecraft has been confirmed at 5.18 a.m. Central, 6.18 a.m. Eastern. As the space station was flying 260 statute miles over the Western Pacific. Copy out. Following the initial contact and capture that was confirmed at 5.18 a.m. Central, 6.18 a.m. Eastern, we are now in a period um, to allow the relative motion between Progress and the International Space Station to dampen out on the docking interface between the two vehicles. Once that occurs, the forward docking probe on Progress will begin to retract. Hooks will close and then we will have a hard mate between Progress and Station. Okay, we are working for page 26 now, right? Uh, close out ops are on page 27. But again, yes, uh, uh, only after the retraction complete. During the fly around of the Progress vehicle, the vehicle started drifting away from the expected attitude and was not aligned with the docking target. Crew then took manual control and recovered the expected ad attitude and they performed docking using the TORU system, which is the telerobotically operated rendezvous unit inside the station. The crew um, confirmed contact and capture of the vehicle at 5.18 a.m. Central, 6.18 a.m. Eastern as the space station was flying 260 statute miles over the Western Pacific. They are now in a period of uh, a couple of minutes to allow the relative motion between Progress and the International Space Station to dampen out on the docking interface between Progress and Station. Once that occurs, the forward docking probe on Progress will begin to retract, hooks will close, and we will have a hard mate. Once we have a hard mate, there will be a period of standard leak checks 
to ensure that there's an airtight seal between Progress and the station before the crew opens hatches in about three hours to begin un unloading cargo from the vehicle. The spacecraft is scheduled to remain docked to the orbiting laboratory for approximately six months. And we have confirmation that the forward docking probe on progress has begun to retract. After it retracts, the hooks on progress will begin to close to form a hard mate. We now have confirmation that the hooks on Progress have closed to form a hard mate between the Progress 86 spacecraft and the International Space Station. Moscow Station, Space Ground 1. We'll get in. Go ahead. Uh, I, uh, I keep the manual mode on, correct? No, do not send any commands. Do not deactivate. We are standing by right now. Following initial contact and capture of the Progress 86 cargo spacecraft to the International Space Station that was confirmed at 5.18 a.m. Central, 6.18 a.m. Eastern, there was a period, um, a brief period to allow the relative motion between Progress and the space station to dampen out. After that, the forward docking probe on Progress began to retract and we have confirmation that the hooks have closed and we have a hard mate between Progress and the space station. Following the launch on Friday, December 1st at 3.25 a.m. Central, 4.25 a.m. Eastern, and a two-day 34-orbit transit, the unpiloted Progress 86 cargo spacecraft safely docked to the International Space Station's Poisk module this morning at 5.18 a.m. Central, 6.18 a.m. Eastern, as the space station was traveling 260 statute miles over the Western Pacific. 
During the fly around maneuver, the progress started drifting away from the expected attitude and was not aligned with the docking target. As a result, Ross Cosmos cosmonauts Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub, currently aboard the International Space Station, took over using the Toru, which is the telerobotically operated rendezvous unit, to manually dock progress. Following a stand series of standard leak checks, the Expedition 70 crew currently on board the space station will open the hatches between the space station and Progress to begin unloading the 2.7 tons of food, fuel, and supplies that were recently delivered. The spacecraft will remain docked to the orbiting laboratory for approximately six months and then undock for a destructive but safe re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere to dispose of trash loaded by the crew. Again, thank you for joining us this morning as we followed the rendezvous and docking of the Progress 86 cargo spacecraft. This is Mission Control Houston.